gonna be oh they are live hello hi i'm live i am live i have tried not to do many live videos during the pandemic because i feel like it's it's, bra it's like bragging because i know i'm saying watch me live but it when you read it it sounds like i'm saying watch me live <laughs> like, <laughs> gonna pretend you thought that was funny um I feel like it's bragging it's downright bragging to brag you're alive during a pandemic I'm gonna just uh riff a few minutes <laughs> just let people hop in I'm gonna be live right now on my personal page and I'm live on my comedy page and I'm also live on my brand new Oklahoman mom Facebook and Instagrams and it's the Oklahoma mom boutique. Ooh, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to give you guys just a second. Uh, since I'm on all these different things right now, <laughs> just my personal, I like to, I like to compartmentalize my life. I don't know if you've noticed this about me. I've noticed this about me. So like, I like to keep my personal Facebook about personal things. And I like to do most of my funny things on my comedy page. And now all of the cool things I create, I'm going to put that on my Oklahoma mom boutique. So since this is on all those platforms, I'm going to start with some personal stuff and then we'll move on to seeing some of the products that you can buy on my boutique. And hopefully the whole time it'll be kind of funny. So it's out there on my comedy page. I mean, y'all just laughed at that live joke, right? Am I right? <laughs> I'm going to pretend like you did. Um, how's your pandemic going, huh? I think, I think that's going to just become a greeting. Oh, Susan, how's your pandemic going? Oh, it's great, Nicole. Like, just watching so much Netflix and, um... I discovered canned wine. Can you tell? <laughs> ah, stop it. Yeah, so my pandemic is going. It's definitely going. My pandemic, you guys. Remember? Okay, remember when the pandemic was going to be like three weeks? Remember? I remember that. Where, what happened? Because this three weeks feels like eight months. It probably is. Bad at math. Um, we have been... In lockdown so long I'm pretty sure I'm going crazy but I, that's probably to be expected so I'm going to share with you something kind of embarrassing <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this is a little embarrassing um, my pandemic started in March is when did did you pandemic in March I don't know you know um, I hear I hear there's great places to pandemic. I heard about people pandemicking in Mexico or by the beach. Wish I did that. My March pandemic, this was a long time ago. I didn't even tell you guys. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you. I probably shouldn't, but my pandemic started by me going hardcore into Pokemon Go. I did it. I couldn't stop playing Pokemon Go. Here's the thing. When Pokemon Go came out, I had a Windows phone. So, like, I was one of three people with the Windows phone, so I couldn't play Pokemon Go. I, I'm i so embarrassed to admit it. I just, uh, I just focused. Maybe it was just to relieve stress, or I don't even know. I just focused on Pokemon Go. I was like, I am going to get the best at this game. Um, I'm a little embarrassed to admit I'm already at level 36. I I haven't even finished, okay? I haven't even finished Pokemon Go. It goes to level 40 if you are cool and you don't play that game. <laughs> so that's, um, I've been really focusing on Pokemon Go, you know, 
what if I tell that to my therapist? Like, my pandemic's gone great. I'm just really focusing on Pokemon Go right now. <laughs> my therapist would be like, you need to see a therapist. And then be like, oh, yeah, I am one. So it would all work out. It would all work out. Um, this is the good thing about the pandemic. And I know a lot of people have really tried to focus on the positive. It's hard, you guys. It's really hard to focus on the positive. But... Oh, and this is something I don't always talk about, auditioning. I do film, like, actual movies, but not really because of pandemic. But because of the pandemic and Oklahoma opened up, the auditions can be self-taped. Usually, you have to uh, drive to an audition. It's a bunch of time slash money. And so because of the pandemic, I'm able just to like self-tape these auditions <laughs> and I am saving literally hundreds of dollars in gas each month because I can just stay home and do these self-tapes. And nobody asks questions because they're like, oh, okay, yeah, pandemic. Chances are I'm not going to get that part anyway. So why spend all that money on the gas? <laughs> So I'm able to audition. So I'm actually super excited about this audition. I'm getting ready for, I can't like, that's how these things work. I'm, I'm not really supposed to talk about it. So I won't, sorry, I touched my microphone, but I just want you to know, I'm really excited about this audition because this is what happens. I'll get a side. It's what they call the script is like, I'll read it and I have no idea what they're wanting. There's just, there's no direction. You just have to interpret. And a lot of times I just have like two scenes from a movie I've never read. <laughs> so it's so difficult. But this, um, this audition I'm prepping for right now, I'm super stoked about because I actually know, <laughs> I, well, I kind of, I know a little bit more. And um, here's the thing about auditions. I don't put it out there every time I audition because I'm, number one, I'm not going to get the part because, you know, that's just how acting works. <laughs> it just, you're not going to get the part. And then when people are like, oh, how did the audition go? I probably had two or three since then. And I don't want to let everybody down. Okay. Because I'm getting tons of auditions and like very few roles. So you will know when it actually happens. I'm actually going to be in something else. <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot, COVID. Uh, so I'm prepping for an audition. I wish I could tell you more. And if I like, I hope this is the part I hope I get cast in because I could tell you. <laughs> and I'm really excited. Like, I would be so thrilled anyway. Um, but self tapes are awesome. I'm so happy I can do that. I literally am saving so much money right now. I want to kind of also like apologize because if you follow me on social media, you know, I, that's where I live now. And I, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> uh, you know, that movie ready player one. Oh, I keep touching my microphone. I'm so sorry. Ready player one. They just live online and that's kind of me right now. I'm just living online. That's where my life is. I'm, I'm starting a ton of pages and groups and just being super active. And I know you're, if you're on my, especially if you're on my personal page, you're probably sick of me and I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I can't leave my house and uh, this is what I got to do. So I, I'm a little sorry, but also not sorry because one of the things I'm super, super stoked about is for Basically, my whole life, I have thought about, okay, here's something funny. That would make a good t-shirt. And now because I found this company called Teespring, I can go, oh, that's funny. And then I can design it and put it on a t-shirt. And with Teespring, they're super awesome because I don't have to buy like 2,000 units in size medium and be able to sell like 20 of them. And then now I have, you know, 1,080 units left just sitting in my garage somewhere. That would be bad. 
if I could buy a thousand units of something, I could sell it for way cheaper than they can print small batch print printing. But that being said, this is just a way that I can still be creative. I can't really leave my house right now. We're trying hard to stay healthy. And um, I just miss making people laugh. I used to do, um, I don't know if you guys remember comedy shows. <laughs> I used to like go on stage and say things and people would laugh. So this is a way for me to like spread a little bit of joy and happiness in the world. One t-shirt design at a time. So I have a just a couple of the items that I've created. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably sick of people selling things on Facebook and I get it. And I, I hate it. Like I literally hate it when people sell things on Facebook, but here's the difference between what I'm doing. Like I would never do this for, um, somebody else, like another, somebody else's business. This is products that I made. Like this is, I would never um, per, like bother everybody in the world about Avon. N no offense, Avon, but you know, something that's, um, I think they call them MLMs and stuff. I just, people do that and that's great. And they have their groups. Um, I would never put it, I would, that's how I would do that. I would never put it out there um, to everybody. Uh, because, but this is, this is my design. These are my words. These are things that I think are funny or inspiring. And now if you uh, would like to support me, you can buy one of these things for, you know, Christmas or something. I also have a group I'm creating and it's going to be the Oklahoma Mom Boutique Insider Group. So please, 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 please let me know if you want to be in that. Um. I want to see here. I haven't been able to see if anyone commented. I guess probably. Uh oh. Not quite sure if this is on my personal page or not. If you're watching this on my personal page, if there's some way you can tell me, it looks like it's not. Anyway, this is my first time streaming with StreamYard, so I really, I'm learning. I am learning. Hmm. Anyway, maybe it is on my personal page. Maybe it's not. Um, I have a group. It's on my personal page. There's a, a thread. Like if you want to be added, um, just send me a message. You can send me a message on Instagram. And you can send me a message on Facebook or, you know, you can you get a pigeon and like write out a little message and like tie it to their leg and have them come tell me you want to be a part of this insider group because what I'm going to do in this group is uh, give out promo codes to save more money than people who are not in the insiders club. I think that's the only thing that I'm kind of disappointed in is these items have to be priced so high because they're only, they're not printing, you know, millions at a time. So Sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but if you do purchase something, just know like you're not giving that money to a ginormous business. I'm not rich by any means. <laughs> uh, so thank you for thinking about it. If you just like my stuff, you don't think you want to buy anything, that's cool too. The best thing you can do is like the business page. Oklahoma and mom boutique and share it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that. But here's some things I've created. Um, what's sad is like, I can't even afford to buy one of everything I've made. And that makes me so sad, but here is the most, well, this is like the first thing I created. It is my all bad things come to an end. I have a whole bunch of different products that say all bad things come to an end because most of you know, if you follow me, that uh, we had a major medical issue. My husband had a massive heart attack. We're not sure if it was the Widowmaker or not, but just the whole time that was happening, it, I just, it just came up 
came to me. You know, we always say all good things come to an end, but we never say all bad things come to an end. And trust me, they do. They do. All bad things come to an end. And I feel like the bad things are over way quicker than the good things. So I don't know why the saying is all good things come to an end. Uh, maybe just to remind us to appreciate all the good things when they're happening. This is the pullover hoodie. I thought you would like to see it in person. I mistakenly bought a size small. Oops. So I like to wear my hoodies big. So this one is not as big as I like, but that's okay. So this is the small in, in a pink and they come in different colors. And just the hood right here. And it's actually, it's just like your typical hoodie. It's, there's, it's not very, I mean, it's just kind of what you imagine a hoodie would be like. So there are some things on my store that are the premium. So I can't wait to see what that is. Uh, this is what our mugs look like so much lighting I'm afraid you can't even see it on Facebook land and I have like I'm no Instagram followers right now so let's see <laughs> it's like it's I actually what I told myself is I'm gonna design these products on Teespring I'm gonna order a couple of the samples and when they come in if if I think they're junk I'm not gonna promote it I'm, I'm just gonna find something else and these things came in. I was like, oh, okay. You know, this hoodie, like I said, not anything special, but um, it's not the premium one. I think the premium one will probably be really awesome. I'm excited about it. Um, I hope you can see it. This coffee mug, all I have is my all bad things come to an end line. And I've got some really cute designs out there. And I'm also making um, real soon it'll come out real soon with some 2020 some quarantine themed items that will make really great Christmas gifts so this is the coffee mug just a simple like what do you think of when it, with a coffee mug yeah that's it I think you know if you don't give one coffee mug during Christmas did Christmas really happen I don't think so here's the the t-shirt is um, Port and Company Essential Tea. And that's just the regular t-shirt. So there's some other t-shirts on there like Comfort and Premium. I think those will actually be better. This is, if you know Port and Company Essential Tea, it's not the softest thing in the world. Like I said, all I've got are my all bad things come to an end line. Hopefully I can get some others soon. And I know it's really not the weather for this. And if I weren't in my cold room, I would wear this for you because I want to see what it looks like so bad. I got the flowy tank. This is the Bella, though. The, ta the tag says the, the brand of tank is Bella. And th that's actually soft, and I really like it. Here, I'm taking this tag off so you guys can see. I don't know if you can see. See that um, Instagram live, y'all are, somehow I can get you to see stuff better. This is the flowy tank. I just think it's adorable. Obviously, most of my stuff is geared towards females, but just because you're a male, don't think you can't buy this because I have a feeling most of you guys know a female that needs an adorable flowy tank. Of course, this will be for under a cardigan or <laughs> wait till summer. Oh, so cute. So cute. And there's a, a sweatshirt out there um, called a slouchy sweatshirt. So it's, it's for, for a lady. So it comes out like this and um, it's not quite off the shoulders, but, but getting close and it looks so cute. And it says, Parenting is my cardio. I'm just having so much fun. Now, I've created these for my own brain. So if you see these somewhere else, let me know. Because as far as I know, these are all unique designs. I'm just curious because 
I'm using StreamYard to do this broadcast right now. And I don't know if, um, like, if people can comment or not because it's on different. Anyway, it's on several different things at once. I don't know. Maybe that's causing a problem. If you stayed to the end. Thank you. I wish I had something. Like, I should have thought of something. Like, because you're at the end of this video, you get a puppy. No, I don't have a puppy that I can give you. You guys, um, I really hope your pandemic improves. And I really, really appreciate any support with my brand new online boutique. So go um, like and share that page. If you're on Instagram, it's Oklahoma Mom Boutique on Instagram. So you can, I think, is that liking or following? I don't know. <laughs> Just I'm trying to be everywhere. And it's, it's a website. So it's super easy to order from. Just allow yourself a little bit of time because they print it every three days. Uh, but they told me I was going to get my stuff October 20th, and I think I got it the 17th. So it really wasn't, it didn't take a lot of time. Um, but I hope you will consider buying something. You guys, I always, I don't know how to end these things, um, except for to say, I think you're all amazing, and I hope you have a great night.